is a dish that's going to look like a gigantic brain, which is why I thought it was perfect to make for Halloween. It is an entire whole stuffed cabbage. I made a beautiful, basically a meatloaf mixture to put inside of it. So what we did was we took the prettiest leaves of our Savoy cabbage, put them on the bottom of a bowl that's lined with cheesecloth. You need the cheesecloth to hold the whole head together once you layer it together. And then you're going to layer in one third of your total meatloaf mixture, which was ground beef, pork, and veal, a little porcini, the sweat vegetable and mushroom mixture with a little bit of pancetta. This is super delicious stuff. You could use it as little baby meatballs too, great. So, you put one third in, then you layer in a couple more leaves of cabbage. I'm actually on my third layer here. Then you put another third of the meat in and you use your pretty blanched leaves to separate the layers. The last third of my mixture, spread that evenly. It's like a meat layer cake. <laughs> and then the top that will become the bottom, you just take two or three more leaves and then you tuck in the sides. See how I overlapped the leaves so they would hang over the bowl? You tuck in all of your leaves just like this. You already think of what I think of big brains? Young Frankenstein and Abby Normal? <laughs> Whose brain did you take? And it's supposed to be Franz Delbart, but instead of the brilliant uh, genius Delbart, he takes Abby, Abby somebody, Abby Normal. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna watch that this weekend. Okay, so then you see how this works. You lift your whole brain, twist, and turn. <laughs> then you take your uh, brain, drop it into your tomato sauce, pop a lid on, transfer it to the oven, and it's going to cook, as I said, at 350 for about two, two and a half hours until a meat thermometer reads 165. We are going to pull this guy out halfway through. Ugh. I can't believe John left. This is so heavy. Oh, okay. Oh, made it. That is one heavy brain. So. Halfway through, take your turkey baster and use it to help you baste the brain with blood. I know it's creepy, but it's so fun. <laughs> Pop the lid back on. Oh, when you take your giant uh, whole head of stuffed cabbage out of the oven, let it cool a little bit. I use a giant spatula to take it out of the Dutch oven. I put it on the cutting board to cut away the, um, uh, the cheesecloth that holds the, the brain or the stuffed cabbage together while it's roasting in your Dutch oven. Then you're just going to cut, it does look a lot like a brain, so this is a little freaky. You're going to cut into it and you're going to cut it kind of like a bunt cake, really. A bunt brain, I guess you'd call it. And when you pull it out, there's three separate layers. It's basically three layers of meatloaf uh, separated by your leaves of cabbage. And then you take your pan juices and that tomato sauce that's left in the bottom of the pot and pour that over the top to serve. Not 